Welcome back to Long Box Diving, where we explore comics and story arcs pulled from, from the, the Long, long box. box. Now, I am the old fogey. This is the young, young whippersnapper. Yeah. And it is time for our quick fire reviews. Now, finally, <laughs> we missed last week. Uh -huh. This is supposed to be a quick fire review. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how quick this is going to be. I'm going to go with there's 17 comics. No, there, there's, there is a lot of comics to go through. And it, a lot, not a lot of time to go through it in. So we'll do our best. And let's dive in. We must dive in. All right. <laughs> hmm. First up, Amazing Spider Man 45. So this is a continuation of last week where we saw that the Sin Eater is back. Yep. And we don't know why the Sin Eater is back. Mm -hmm. Overdrive. Remember we had the whole Overdrive thing? I love the way the dude made a paper airplane out of a dollar. Oh, that was it just great. took off with it. It was great. But Sin Eater seems to be more of a spirit. So you see this where he actually fires a gun and it goes right through Spider-Man. But it doesn't actually injure Spider-Man. So it's like his shotgun is some sort of spiritual thing. And then it actually gets overdrive. Look at that. It actually kills overdrive. Um, well, you know how comics, he overdrive dead, right? <laughs> and then we had a Yo, right. <laughs> a crazy reveal at the end. So mm -hmm. this overall was solid for me. It was a good read. It was fun. It was a lot of okay. action. So Bagley's art. You're it, allowed on the, to have two O snaps because it's two weeks. I am allowed to have two O snaps. I have to figure out what my other one is. I know what my O snap moment of the week is this, this week. week. Oh yeah, big time. I'll have to try to remember what my old snap moment of the week is for last week. I don't remember what it is, but uh, yeah, I, I, I honestly did you have an old snap is, mode in here? No, but this is some of my favorite art. The, the Bagley's art in here was Begley, really, really good. Uh, it, he was on another book we read this week. Mm -hmm. That was from this week, and I like that as well. It was it was good. Yeah, Bagley is worth buying the book for, mm -hmm. in of itself. Uh, we still have the worm dude lurking. I'm not sure. That, Who's he? That seemed to have been going on for 45 freaking books now. <laughs> um, but overall, Art's great. The story's solid. I think it is, for me, a recommend. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely good. All right. On to the next one. We're going right back to back Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Symbio Spider-Man, Alien Reality, number five. Uh-huh. Now, this was a weird, weird one. It was so weird. And, and then you get this kind of crap going on. <laughs> You know, where, where it's weird, warped reality. <laughs> They're talking about... A lot yeah. of reading. A lot. They're talking about religion. They're talking about cult. There is one thing that uh, Nightmare King said that I do agree with. He's like, if you control America's dreams for just a year, yep, you can change the outcome of the next 10. And I was like, yep. fair enough. That That's... It's that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean it's true. A lot of good stuff in here. Um, there was the a lot of was so psychedelic. The art oh was psychedelic. Gosh. There was a lot of. I mean, and the, but, I mean, <laughs> look at, yeah, look at that page, right? I I can't imagine how much fun the artist must have had drawing this because you're in the nightmare realm. You can do anything. Yes, all nightmares and it's all dreams. And then we had the whole you know symbiote acting without Spider Man's, and then mm -hmm. you know we have. Hobgoblin was the source of Supreme. You got Baron Mordo. <laughs> a lot of good stuff going on here. It was a nice uh -huh. resolution. And then it's like, like he wakes up and, it, you know, back in the normal universe. We still don't know what, what's up with what? Red Widow? Red Wit, Red Cat. Red Wit, Red Cat, Black Cat, Black Widow. Pretty sure it's there. Black it's it, it, was, it was like Black, Red, Bla, uh, Red, uh, was it? Uh, Black Widow was playing Black Cat. They were kind of like a merge thing. Really kind of weird, kind of strange, but it was cool. Then we got this. And if anybody knows what that means, I know what that means. Do you know what we'll that return means? what? The symbol right there. What is it? What is it? Um, Carnage. No. No. Oh, yeah. That's the Venom symbol, no. So I wonder if they're going to come back with another chapter in the, in the symbiote that has to do with the Null coming back to Black King. Ooh. What if Hobgoblin... <laughs> Uh, thinks he's gonna use Null, but Null's really using him. But this is like a separate reality, so it's kind of kind of weird how that went out. For me, this was solid. I really kind of enjoyed it. It was like an old school 
the I, overarching story was like an old school Spider-Man event I wrath, Doctor romping Strange invention. with a ponytail. <laughs> Doctor Strange was kind of cool with the ponytail. You got the symbiote acting on its own, and Strange knowing you're, like you're acting Strange separately. I like Strange is teaching magic to the to symbiote. The symbiote. <laughs> Saying, hey. So yeah, so this was solid for me, old fogey. Oh yeah, that was oh yeah, that was good. That was a good book. That was a good book. All right, it's nothing in comparison to this though. This firepower number two. Now the problem is this came out this week or last week. This week, and so did this. Mm -hmm. All right, so this mm -hmm. was firepower number two. Uh, honestly, this was probably my top pick of the week. This was the best book I read this week. Um, what? It. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best. I'd say it's my favorite. It, it well, it's my favorite. That makes it the best book for me. <laughs> um, this was fantastic. Uh, the whole fight scene in here. Oh, I love was the first so, like ten pages. It, it was, was so, so funny. well choreographed. And the I whole can bit. See it in a cheesy um ninja movie. <laughs> a family ninja movie, right? Right. Yes. So, he is trying to make sure that the wife isn't getting, you know, she doesn't wake up. Yeah. There's a whole, the whole thing, every move they make is in essence trying to make sure like the water doesn't spill on the, the nightstand. And, mm -hmm. and he grabs it like this. And the, even the ninja is trying to be quiet and not wake the wife up. <laughs> and they're both fighting and he rolls out the door and reaches back and click. <laughs> like every, everybody pauses as he clicks the door shut. And then there's like three ninjas <laughs> and he's like, dang it. And then there's like all the fighting down the hallway. They knock into the kids' room, oh and, and everything he does is try to don't wake the kid up. And he's like throwing that stuffed toy back on the bed so the kid. And then they get down, and then he sees the dog, and he's like, "No peanut butter, good dog, good dog, good dog." And I was like, "Yes, that's hilarious!" A whole oh eleven goodness. pages, oh. and the freaking dog barks and wakes everybody up. And then we find out, you know, some other stuff. And, and this then, had my first week of snap moment. This has your oh snap of the moment? First week. Okay, so this is, well, this was from this week. I know, but still. This was a kind of oh snap moment. Um, it almost would have won it except for what happened in the next book. Mm -hmm. But this was a good reveal at the end. Oh, yeah. This oh, yeah. was my number one book of the week for me. This, Firepower number two, my number one it book of the week. It was my personal favorite. Yes, it I was think, fantastic. I think this next book is my number one, though. All right. So for me, it was really cool. Definite recommend. If you're not getting firepower, you should. Um, also, get the trade paperback before the free comic. Book. Right, the prequel. Yeah. All right. Now on to deceased. Deceased. Oh, DC's deceased. Deceased. Dead oh, planet. My goodness, this was number my two. Number one. Okay. This was a really good book. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, man, the art. In it. I love the concept of. A magical team hopping through like space uh, to try to save people. It um the death of Red oh, Arrow or Arsenal was it was sweet. He just bursts into fire. Is great mm -hmm. uh, because <laughs> Green Flame Fire, whatever her name is, on the Justice League International team burns him up. And then we get this this look at that walking through the door like we that. got constantine we got Zantana. Zantana. we got red hood we got blue devil and we got uh Rag, ragman ragman yeah. and uh ravager. Slade's daughter ravager ravager and, and so man you had and um bobo bobo <laughs> and, and, and they introduced the team and it, it was just bobo rips a dude's arm off it's fantastic oh my god um and, and you see Zantana. that's and constantine know, working together she's like flame off and and flame just turns back into human and flies into a and then you know and, and then uh when when swamp thing? swamp thing shows up oh my goodness and, Say, and does that <laughs> well why didn't you start with that <laughs> everybody's impaled all the zombies are done immediately and then uh swamp thing's like shut the blank up they're like, oh wow, did Swamp Thing just yeah, that's new. <laughs> and constantly goes, Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, of proud of that. <laughs> that was great. You know, and we see the 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 whole garden. Oh, and when uh Wonder Girl flies in with Superboy and he's oh. injured, and he's injured because you know Dana Lance or Dana stabbed her to the back with uh with the with the sword that like is a, is mm -hmm. a kryptonite god slaying magical sword, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> It's got it, a little bit of everything. And so Swap Thing is like, hey, there's some stuff going on at the other garden. There's two gardens. In Australia. In Australia. 
And uh, Costi's like, I'm going to go to Australia because like, everything there kills you. I don't want to get. And so they're like, you know, no, you got to go there. So they, they see, you know, all the, the baddies out there. Now that is a zombie bunker. Zombie bunker. There's like a lake of blood, they said. Um, and it's surrounded by fire. So that's also fun. So they start going over the, the lake of blood. And, and Bobo's like, it's not blood. And then my oh snap moment of the week. This is a this spoiler. Week, yeah. If you don't want to see this, you might want to turn it off because you got three seconds. Look, one, two, three. This was crazy. Oh snap moment of the week. It's Plastic Man. Look, look at that. Mm-hmm. A zombie Plastic mm-hmm. Man that impales Ragman goes through Zantana's mouth and eyes into Blue Devil's throat and explodes his brains out of his eyeballs. And then and Constantine then consumes- and Bobo fall into its cavernous Star Wars um, pit hole monster type. You can see the eyeball. Yes. Oh my goodness. That was his eyeball floating there. And I, and, and, and I'm, I'm sitting here reading this and I flipped it. I went, what? No, no, no. What? And my wife is like, I'm not even asking. I'm not, I'm not even going to ask. Get oh your son. Goodness. Talk to him. And I'm like, oh boy, my. get in here. <laughs> this was my O snap moment of the week. Definitely one of the highest recommends. Um, you know, he, Tom King is doing a fantastic job. Yes. With um, these Dead Planet and Deceased series. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This was my number one, but my personal favorite is still belongs to Firepower. Yeah, this was my O Snap moment of the week. Fantastic book. You definitely should be reading Deceased. I want a little um, bit Dead more Planet. of that team, though. <laughs> I would have loved to see that team do more. Mm-hmm. But the team's gone. 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 <laughs> the crap. Plastic Man defeated two sorcerers, um, a devil, nearly a, indestructible, a genius monkey, <laughs> and Ragman, who has the power of all the souls. His his cloak is just sucked in. Um, and two trained assassins. No, they were somewhere else. Oh yeah, no, they're they're still. Yeah, you got to keep the unkillables alive. <laughs> All right, so now we move on to Empire. Empire. Yeah, okay. Empire number three. Uh, this was. All right, so this was okay for me. Um, it, it was, I mean, I like the sweeping epics. Um, I like the big crossover events. I like the main story of it. Mm-hmm. I like re- reading about the main story. And some of the ones I already collected, it crosses over. I'm okay with that. We get some interesting little pieces here. Mm-hmm. Um we get, you know, some great, like, it's oh. clobbering time. Oh, I mean, that's wonderful. I love, I love that stuff. Um, it's a pretty interesting story so far. Yeah, it's to make you feel fuzzy, um, kind of kind of a, a phrase. Ko, Koati are, are trying to destroy everybody. In the they got the Fantastic Four, and the Avengers are kind of splitting up and trying to, what's going on? You got Captain America fighting. So a lot of stuff's going on. The art in this yeah. book... Um, Valerio uh, Shiti, I think the art's pretty good. Um, it was solid art, and we had some good stuff, and we had a good reveal in this as well. And we get kind of the interplaying political working that's going on behind the scenes that we're definitely that ne- not necessarily everybody's, you know, we as reader are in, but the rest of the people don't know. So, interesting stuff yeah. going on there. Um, to me, it was a solid book. Not not like a wow, I gotta get this every week type mm-hmm. book. It was it was solid. I personally don't care for um alien politics. <laughs> so it was like yeah. hey. if you like big sweeping epics that with crossover events, oh yeah. Um, if you like the Avengers or the Fantastic Four, it, it's a recommend. If you don't really care about any of that, it, it's not probably not a recommend. It's in that borderline say where it's it's solid. Um, it's not necessarily good. It's just solid. It's a it's an interesting read. I enjoy it because of what my interests are. He didn't necessarily enjoy it all. That. I wouldn't have bought it. Um, so it's one of those in the middle, right? So we're okay with it. I think it's a good, it's a solid book. Not necessarily a good book, but solid. Definitely worth my time. It might be oh, worth, it's worth my time. 
All right, <laughs> on to the next one. So then we got X Men number ten, um, Empire crossover. Now this one was mm, okay. This is going to be hard to pick apart here. Okay, for me specifically, it's going to be a little hard to pick apart. Uh -huh. um, the first one, two, the first three pages are mm -hmm. interesting. I like the uh, four pages. I like the concept that he was ripped apart. Um, Vulcan was that that some alien presence grabbed him and kind of ripped him apart and rebuilt him, and now he's a ticking time bomb. That's interesting. These girls, uh, Petra and Sway, are dumb. I don't like it. I don't. I didn't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It's to always me. Margarita time. All they want to do is sit around and drink. I mean, that is not heroic. It's not a superhero book. Put that in some mm -hmm. slice of life book. Margaritaville. They make no sense to me. Um, Vulcan going out on a walk. Eh, okay. But when he starts fighting the plants, that was interesting. When they and when flipping back to the ticking time bomb that mm -hmm. is Vulcan, interesting. Him blowing things up, interesting. Mm -hmm. Him being triggered, great. Then they sh Sway shows up in Petra and they talk him down again. All right, I don't know who these two people are. I don't know why they're so important and what are they doing? They're talking him down. And all they're talking about is here, let's go get a drink. And then we get the Summers people on vacation with Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, is Scott in a speedo? Scott is in a speedo. <laughs> uh, th they went up. The summer. So Jean and I are taking the kids to Chandelure today. I know we're talking about getting out and not just staying at the house. And I never really think you should reconsider. And I really think you should reconsider it. Uh, we're taking the kids and they brought Wolverine. I don't know what's going on with this. It doesn't make any sense. And I'm not a big fan of this Wolverine Scott gene thing that they seem to be implying um i do like that they pointed it's at the planet very said, tight tree i like the end the end was cool um so this is one of those that it had some interesting plot points that could be interesting and then it had some plot points that were annoying is all get out and so it again x-men is in that place where it's like it's just enough to get me to buy the next book but it's not enough for me to say I recommend this book to anybody. <laughs> I don't. I don't recommend reading X-Men. I like, I love X-Men. I grew up reading X-Men. One of the first books I bought was X-Men. Hey, Shay and Ann. And I love X-Men. But I can't recommend anybody else read X-Men because it. <laughs> All right, some good parts, some bad parts. I can't even say it's solid. It was okay. Yeah. So for me, okay, not a recommend. You? Oh no, I wouldn't have bought, bought it. Um, so you know, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't look bad. It's just the, the story, art was great. The you, story was it was what? You, you literally, you does great art. Yeah, the art was that was good, but I was like, uh, huh? <laughs> All right, next. Yeah, it was like, huh, huh. All right, so next was that Texas Blood number two. All right, so I got this on a whim. Um, because other people have been recommending it, and it was really good. Um, it wasn't good at all. Um, it was boring. I thought it was just me. It was boring. It was all flat angles. I mean, for the most part, there was all flat angles. I mean, there's a few that were a li little tilted, but mostly flat angles. He, he doesn't have a good relationship with his wife. There's a whole page of flying, getting on a bus, flying on a bus, getting in a taxi. That was a whole page. And then he goes at a restaurant and she hates him and she's, mm -hmm. oh, she's ugly. And, and then, and then he, the only interesting part was literally this last page. It says, it was, well, kid, it was. And, th and that was like, and I won't re spoil it for you, but that literally was the only interesting part of this book. This book was dumb. Um, now, if <laughs> I know people like it and people all have different opinion and some people may enjoy this book and, and more power to you. This, this is the one and only book of the series I'll ever buy because I didn't enjoy it. It was kind of dumb for me. It didn't make any sense. It was not a lot of action. The, the art was not good. 
Um, the writing was boring. It just. I wanted more pages like the cover. Yeah, the cover is great. The cover looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So, wait, that's a number two. It's number two. Wait, that would. So this wasn't even a setup. It was just. This was the payoff from the first book. Oh my goodness. All right. So for me, not a recommend. Mm, nah. All right. So we're in agreement. That's. Yeah. All right. So next. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, but. We do I, agree sometimes. I right. like this book. Batman number 96. This was a high, highly recommended yes. book. This was really good. This week's books were a lot better than last week's. I mean, week's. look at that. Look at that. The Batman cycle. I love that. I love I love this dream world that he mm -hmm. gets created because of the the uh, venom that he got. Uh -huh. When Alfred's head falls over to the oh. side. Uh, I like Harlequin in this. She she makes sense. Her character makes sense. I like the new kid with yeah. the with the battering bat. bat the battering bat and the and the helmet. He he's pretty cool. Um, I like the whole Zoro plot. I mm -hmm. like the plot with the theater. Um, it, this was really good. It was highly recommended. The art, Hymenes' art, yes, fantastic. I love this art. And the last page, that beautiful. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Take my word for it. That's beautiful. In it? Oh yeah. Oh. No, I love the colors. Oh yeah, colors. Uh, yeah. It is so Joker esque. Come to you, Moray. Colors are just beautiful here. Oh, it's just mm -hmm. gorgeous. All right, so. Yeah, highly recommend it, it. If it hadn't been for uh, Firepower and Deceased, mm -hmm. this would probably be the highest recommend. This is as high as Deceased for me. Mm -hmm. This was tied for number two. Um, but yes, highly recommend Joker, uh, Batman, Joker War, the no, Batman 96. Highly recommend. What do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. I would have bought that. Like, it's a good, yeah, good. All right, <laughs> next. Oh, Justice League number fifty. I feel like that's a good, a good, uh, a good uh, point because since comics are getting more expensive, you're like, would you buy it? Would you buy it? Because that's six bucks. This is a six dollar comic, but it's supposed to be a super exercise anniversary issue. Is it was exercised, and we get the resolution to a whole the whole storyline yeah. that Spurrier yeah. Lepresti was coming to. I like the new. I like this card. This cover. It's a little bit thicker. Yes. Than the average page. I like that little thicker cover. Mm -hmm. um, the art in here is great. The oh, story yeah. was interesting because there's some parallels to current, you know, current events in a sense of, you know, the division within a country and, so, you know, they were using the division to control the, the people. Division. It was pointless. And they were using it to control the people um, and, and how they were finally came to a point where they were able to show the people that division is not, you know, Differences is fine. Diversity is great. And the coming together of those different diverse peoples make a better society. That's good. And that, I agree with that. Diversity of thought, diversity of character, all these things are great. But hating someone because they're an android is... But hating somebody because he's android and hating somebody because he's you know a, a, a telepath, stupid, right? And they, and they come together and they share... <laughs> Flesh bag. <laughs> and they, they use the uh, control module. And so, yeah, it was a good ending to the story. It was a good... Uh, you know, it was a good payoff. It was a good payoff. Yeah. So overall, this arc was good, um, and I definitely recommend the arc. It was really good. Now I don't know how this is all going to play out after Death Metal, but it was it was solid. <laughs> it was solidly good. So recommend on that one. You? Yes, that's a definite recommend. I would put that in top five. Top five? Yeah. Cool. This one. This one. X Factor number one. Number one. Ooh. I have of last week. This was this is last week's. Yes, of last week. This is probably my favorite from last week. Yes. Now, granted, there were some parts that were a little cheesy, but we have we have talked about it a lot, many many times. Mm -hmm. We wanted a book that was like CSI, right? It was like NCIS, where mutants use, where mutants use their powers to solve crime. Uh huh. I like that concept. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great concept. What I don't like is, well, I mean, and, and the art in here is great. Um, uh -huh. yeah. Valdeon is did great art in here. And, and to me, Jean-Paul acted like a jerk, which is his character. Yes. They wrote him well. 
What I don't like is some of the other characters, like Lorna Dane it was not a hipster. She was not a hipster wannabe. She, she was not goth. She didn't walk around with a beanie and a hoodie. That made no sense, right? Dakin, I think, was done well. Yes, he was you know, done very well. Dakin has the animalistic instinct, and you know he can recognize when people Cocky, are attracted flaunty. to him, and he plays it. Oh, right? he plays him so well. I like that. Um, I didn't like how Rachel's take you know taking care of she she running around in, in over baggy sized clothes. Why does she look really mad at her dog? You know, and in, in, a, in a, that doesn't make sense. Like, Poop. <laughs> <coughs> so the Rachel Summers here didn't make sense to me in her character. Maybe they're just tw tweaking a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. Eyeball boy, great. I like the use of their powers. Mm -hmm. Now the fact that they had to point out specifically that they had two bi individuals on the team. Why? I don't care. Um, I want to know, are they good characters? I don't care what kind of I character. mean, Dakin, that... Dakin, I don't even know if he's bi or whether he just plays on anybody's attraction to him. Plus, he can you know pump out pheromones or whatever he does. He can make them attractive. That makes them attractive to him. So he's got some powers there. And, and, and it was you know the use of his pheromone to get somebody to talk. Right, mm -hmm. so he's interviewing somebody. He's using his pheromones. They start talking. Where we find out that um, Rachel can actually do a telepathic time dilation and walk back through time yeah. and look at the psychic signatures of what's going on, so she can look at what happened in the past. Um, we can see the kid, um, you know, the the information kid, read all the information and get what's happening here and what's happening here. What's this information about? Oh, she had this uh, Facebook. This she had, Oh, look at the receipt says she went to this hotel. And, and it's all these kind of stuff. He's doing that. The, uh, yeah. the kid with the eyes, right? All of us can read the heat signatures and the, uh, you know, all these different things. They go and they find this place where she probably went off the bridge and they're like, the car's down there. He goes, I found like a hundred cars down there. Can you, can you describe it a little bit better than car? Um, and then, you know, then Lorna Dane lifts all the vehicles out and they do an autopsy and all, you know, great stuff, right? I like it. Because to be revived, uh, for an X-Men to be revived, um, you need proof of death. Right. So that's what their job is now. So the whole resurrection protocols, you can't just raise people out, you know, for random. Because you know, then you clones. have a clone, you got two people with the same memories. You have to you have to prove a person's dead before you can resurrect them. Mm -hmm. But nobody has been in a position to do that proving. So now we have X Factor. And X Factor has been approved by the uh, council yeah, to exactly. now be the 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 team that goes and does these things, and they have ways for people to request their help. And then, of course, Forge created these seeds, these request seeds, uh, fleet seeds, or something like that. Well, now all of them start floating in. And they get all these requests for people that are missing. And so now Jean Paul uh, is now the leader of the team. Um, and so I liked it. Okay, it wasn't mm -hmm. the best book of the week. For me, it didn't really have an oh snap moment for me, um, but I thought it was very good, and it was like right down the line of what I wanted a book, a uh, 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 an X Men book to this be is about. The exact concept that we want. Yes, and it's not about freaking plants. I'm done with plants. <laughs> um, but yeah, Leah Williams did a great job. The art is fantastic. I think it was very, very good. I right, you. I am not a botanist. <laughs> I definitely recommend. Yes. Yeah, that was um, of last week. If I had to pick a number one, that'd probably be it. Yeah, it was probably the number one of last week. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> All right. Ex except for maybe this one. Um, this one was also pretty good. Captain America number one. There were some good, there were funny moments in here. From Empire. This is yeah. a one shot. Now, the reason I got this is because of the writer. Philip Kennedy Johnson. Do you recognize that name? Sounds familiar. Philip Kennedy Johnson writes Last Gods. Oh, yeah. He is a uh, active duty military uh, army. Uh, I'm not sure if he's an officer or enlisted, but that's why he's active duty. Um, so he knows when I'm reading Cap I was like, Captain America, active duty and fighting. Yeah, it makes sense. And they had a nice team dynamic. Oh, yeah. Um, they had an interesting Captain America jumps out of the sky. Some of the art was traced, you can tell. That's okay because some of the art wasn't traced and was done pretty well. There's not a lot of background in this. So the art is good, but it's not superior. Um, you can tell because look at them like this. There's no back, there's not a lot of background in these things. There's a lot of stuff happening. There's yeah. some dynamic things, 
but not a lot of background. See, I mean, it's not a very deep art. And the art you do see that has backgrounds like that behind those guys, that's traced. Or that's a picture with some filters on it, right? That's not that's not specifically yeah. the kind I like. Um and backgrounds, if if most since most of it's already filled with word bubbles and people, I mean stuff like this, I don't mind that. No. Because I enjoy focusing on him enjoying his flamethrower. Yes, he <laughs> likes his flamethrower. And I don't mind that either. But it shouldn't be almost all the panels have nothing. Okay, that I don't like because it just seems like we're missing things. Um, and like this is a traced filtered tank. But the dialogue in here, woo, we're like Howling Commandos. Loved it, right? And, and I love the story <laughs> here. I love so stop it. You're embarrassing me in front of Captain America. You know what what <laughs> the great. what the uh Kotai oh, are doing yes. with oh, yes. the little pieces in here that you haven't read. They're really cool. What they do at the end was mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Um we're probably gonna get Captain America two Empire. I don't I don't think I think this is two or three books. We'll probably get them all because this was pretty solid. Yeah. Um this was solid. I, I the art didn't let it be good, in my opinion. The art made it solid, um, which is you know it, I mean, it's, just, it's okay. I mean, it's not just okay. It's solid. Excellent. Good. Solid. Okay. Let's get our rating down. Um, I put it at good. I put it at, at a good as well. It's not, or solid. I put it at solid. Not good. Because the art to me, the art to me let me down a lot. I expected a little bit more, but the writing was really good. So it's kind of good writing, okay art, meet in the middle, you're solid. But I recommend. Yes. All right. So now, this, we, now we get to this one. Y'all, oh, we should not have like waited <laughs> another week. Giant size X Men <laughs> number one. This was intriguing to me. Uh, I didn't like it at all. Um, I believe Riaz did the art. I didn't like the art. Um. I don't like Riaz's art. I mean, I, it's it's the okay. The babies looked weird. <laughs> it's okay, but I just don't like Riaz's art. It looks choppy, and it looks goofy. I mean, his arms don't look right here. Um, his foreshortening's a little... Uh, it just. I don't like Riaz's art. I don't think he's very good. Um, I don't like Phantom X as a character. I think he's stupid. Um, and it, but I mean, the concept for the story could have been it could have been okay. The whole idea that the the world, which you have to know a little bit about Phantom X, understand what the world is, what his nervous system is, who he is as an individual, what his power set are, to it, to actually kind of get what's going on in this comic. Um, and he brings him into the he brings the Hellfire Club into the world, and they, like <laughs> the like Cthulhu monsters, right? And all these Cthulhu monsters come out and tear everybody up. And I looked if H.P. Uh, Lovecraft was on the Hellfire Club. Yeah, but he's not. Um, that so would make an interesting. And then we theory. get we get one of the twins are like in the world, right? And then you know there's a girl Phantom X that was involved in X Factor somewhere. And then, then we get this another X another Phantom X baby. And then we got all these robot. It just you now they had some good running jokes like uh, mm -hmm. they they parachute out and you have Red Eye Emotipole, Rustbot, and Mohawk person. He, you know, they had these fake names like that because they only lasted like three or four panels and then they're all dead. Um, and then we get the whole, we caught up to when uh, Scott and Wolverine met with Phantom X and they went into the world. And then we have his other Phantom X being that he met with. Um, and then we find out that apparently Storm is dying. Why? Why, why is Storm dying? There's no other way to say it. I'm dying, and our best mutant scientists believe the only way to save me is inside your world. Once we get there, we're going to need you to guide us. You understand how that works. What? Why is Storm dying? Why does she not look like she's dying? What? Why did there? Did, did I miss something? Because I have no freaking idea why Storm is dying. Yeah, those who know, please what, like what let is us, she, let, tell us so we can. Is put it two Marauders? Because I don't collect Marauders. It's stupid. Um, so I, I, Storm's dying. I don't know why. 
Because I see. I'm so apparently weird. expected to be reading every <laughs> X book to know what all the stories and all the other books are. Because I see this was so weak. All right. <laughs> um. Well, in Florida. No, I dropped Giant Size X Men off my pull list. I'm not getting any more. Than yeah, it makes sense. I done. mean, I wouldn't expect you to. Continue. Not, not a recommend. It was okay. It was okay, but not even a recommend. It's getting dropped. You? Yeah, it was okay. But you liked it, right? I mean, you don't. Have I to, mean, no, you don't have to not like it. I wanted. I, I enjoyed the uh, the Hellfire Club bit, and that made that made me interested. But like other than that, it was like like the fat the last like ten pages. I kind of just skimmed through. <laughs> so hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, I, it's just it was like eh. Hickman's losing but, me. The the authors of the X Men that I like, Leah Williams so far, and I like Benjamin Percy. Yeah, that's about it. That's about that's about it. Hickman was so strong. Benjamin Percy is doing X Force and Wolverine. They're, they've been good so far, and Leah Williams is doing X Factor. Been good so far. Yeah, everything else is. Is is that just a thing with Hickman where he goes up and then he goes down and then he goes up and then he goes down? I don't down? know. Everything else I've read of Hickman, like Manhattan, Manhattan Project, East to West, those have been pretty good. I don't know what the deal is right now. And the the Don, the powers of X were great. Are they just putting too much on him? I don't know. Probably. Too much responsibility. I don't know. All right. So now we get this. Dead Eyes. Snake, de- Snake Eyes. Dead Game number one. <laughs> this, dead Eyes Snake Game. <laughs> it's Leafield, right? So Leafield's yeah. art. Oh, um, and it was beautiful. He did the this cover. This was, was one of the really most good. beautiful books. Yes, the art week. the art in here is really, really solid. Um, this is also in my top five. Um, I'm trying to figure out, did Lethal do the interiors? I don't mm. see. see. that's the I'm thing. There's sure. like oh, no here. ad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Rob Lethal did the story and art. Um, Chad Bowers just script and dialogue, uh, um, and then colors for the colors. Color, sorry, so he did the art inside. Now it's interesting because it kind of start in the past, and we see this whole idea of the the Molnir against the Dead Sword. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we have the secret mission for Snake Eyes. He comes up and he meets the original GI Joe. Hey, uh, hey, Rod, how you doing, man? Hey, Rod. so we see him meet the original GI Joe, and there's this thing. They need a ninja to figure it out. And basically, this old being called the Red, the Red Death, uh, the Grave Master. Yes. The uh, he was the Red Wizard Kirigun. Um, We got this dude right, and he is alive again, and he is looking for a challenge. He's looking for a sword. He's looking to conquer the world. We get a great fight scene between Snake Eyes and this. Well, that dude, was beautiful. And Snake Eyes gets his butt kicked. And it was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. And then we get, you know, um, what, what's her face? Uh, Scarlet. Yeah. Um, she shows up with the wolf, right? The wolf's face is a little so, squat. Love it. He's like squished face. <laughs> he's like your aunt just went, oh, I got a good puppy. Right? And so he's, get, he's got squished face. He's got a good puppy face. <laughs> he's got a good puppy face. Um, kind of looks like my Thor when he's grinning at you. And then we get, you know, Roadblock and the original G.I. Joe. And yeah. I know there's some cool stuff in this book. Um, and it, I am definitely, and look at the cover for next week. So now I've got to go to my comic store and make sure I get this on my pull because this was really pretty good. Um, it was, it was good. So it was above solid. It was good. The last run in the Ninja Turtles, that looks really kind of cool too. Yeah. Doesn't it? it- now I'm gonna have to get that too. Um, so this for me, Snake Eyes number one. Snake uh, Snake Eyes Dead Game number one is a recommend, and it was good. Not the best of the week. Yeah, it was really it was good. Really good. All right, so on to the next one. This one. Oh my goodness. Um, Devil's Highway number one. Um, <laughs> AWA Upshot has been doing some really good, like really books. good comics. The the zero year. Good. Devil's Highway, um, Red Border, some really good stuff. Um, this one, wow. Um, I don't even know where to begin. It is this girl comes running out of the snow. Somebody's chasing her. The guy shows up, kills the, this father, um, and leaves a burnt uh, Corroboros on his chest. Um, his daughter shows up, and she is like a kick-butt um, investigator, all this kind of stuff. And she starts investigating. 
even this even this scene right here where all we got is these panels that was interesting yeah just even this i mean this right here this right here was still interesting because there was action and emotion and feeling the bad mother was good too uh, yeah. yes um and the ticking down on this tick 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 and you, and, and you just see her running off and then she falls out of the cab beautiful stuff man and then we have another dude that shows up and we have her figuring out about the snake symbol, um, Ouroboros. And then we have the ending where like all these dead bodies are found in the woods and the Ouroboros comes out and does this wrap around on her chest. The snake comes out of her mouth and wraps around her chest. <sighs> creepy, 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 but kind of kick butt. And then bad mother. Mm. <laughs> all right. So like, some good stuff here. Uh, yeah. For me, this was very good. It was very, it's creepy. Um, and it and was, it was a good another mystery. investigation book. Yes. And another investigation book. I like those. I like the action. I like the investigation. I, I like the I mystery. Think that's what got him into I like, uh, Batman in the first place. Yes. So, Devil's Highway is a definite recommend. It was good. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Solid. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> it was, yeah, it was good. All right. And now we're on. Y'all, I think I just realized that he's never called one of these bad. I just, I, I just said I dropped them. That means they're bad. No, but you do excellent, good, solid, okay. But then you, yeah, I don't ever call you a don't comic really bad. Call someone else's work bad. No, I mean to me they're bad. I don't collect them anymore. But I, I'm not going to label somebody's work bad. I may say it's stupid, but I'm not going to label it bad because everybody put effort into it. It's worth their time, and it may be worth somebody's time. So I, I don't like, I don't like necessarily calling somebody's work bad, um, except for his when he does the dishes. <laughs> Um, it's okay, which means it's not for me, <laughs> but not necessarily bad. That's true. That is a that is something I do. It's okay. It's okay. But it's not for me. <laughs> it's definitely not for me. Um, so the, the the next book is Empire Number Four. Oh goodness. Um, again, this was the whole stre- sweeping Empire yeah. epic, and apparently we're getting that one of the one of the main story every week. I think I liked this a little better than last week's. And we got into more depth. Mm-hmm. We saw there's something wrong with Hulkling. Uh-huh. We saw, uh, um, you know, Captain Marvel do something other than you know be a princess, um, and she got to use the hammer, which was kind of cool. We saw magic cast on them, and then launched to another place. Then we saw Wiccan. We saw Wiccan show up, and we see, um, you know, even Tony Stark saying, "I." Solve problems in armor. He's like, we told Thor to go do one, go on a quest. I love, I love Tony's <laughs> he goes, I, I know how I. Uh, he goes, you, you know how I told Thor since to been his time. I told him to go on a quest. Why? Because that's way. That's his. That's his tool. That's his way. That's his process. This is my process. I think in suits, Reed. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that character development. That love, is exactly I love, how I, I, love, see I, love, him. I love his T-shirt. It's one point twenty one gigawatts. It was, what? <laughs> 1.21 gig gigawatts. Um, and I, I like I liked that characterization, yeah. right? I liked these battle scenes. Because that's exactly how I imagine Tony speaking. Yes. He's like, yeah, we get it. You're a super genius. And yeah, and you just figure it all out standing there in your head. I get it, but this is how I do it. I build a suit of armor. And when I'm done, I have the answer. Yeah, I like that. So that was great. I liked the moment, I liked the mommy moment. Um, between mm-hmm. mommy and um, the celestial messiah, that was great. I like She Hulk. And you're going, Bleh. oh my goodness, she she got taken possession of because and it was I guess it was easier because she was green, and then she turns into even more of a monster, creepy. And then we get uh, Wiccan going, um, what you just told me about Hulkling doesn't necessarily sound like Hulkling. Um, I kind of know the dude um, in every way you can know him. So I know the dude. And so that's not the Inside dude. Inside and out. Yes. So uh, to me, this <laughs> stepped up over three. Yes. Four stepped up, up over three. I liked four so much better. I think four was good. Um, it wasn't the best book a week and it was above solid. So I think it was good. Um, I, I think this turned the whole series into me to more of a recommend. Um, yeah. Because it's starting to become really pretty good uh the story's starting to form up a little bit it's not just a straightforward let's blow the world up right yes. but hulkling did say turn the pyre on 
So the sun may be going bah, soon. Good thing we're not in the DC universe because Superman's still in the middle of the sun in the DC universe and deceased. All right, so let's go quick. We got uh, good. Not recommend. Uh, not recommend. Good. Good. Recommend. Yeah. All right. Oh, it was good. Good. Recommend. Yeah, I liked it. Great. Number one book of the week for me. My number two. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> number two book of the week and my oh snap of the week. And one of my oh snaps. Excellent book. Um. Okay. This was solid. It was depressing. It was solid. Uh, no, not depressing. Underrated. But four. Underwhelming. Brings, but, That's the but four I'm brings it up. All right. <laughs> this huh it, it was okay confusing it has some good story elements that i really would have liked to have explored the rest of it <laughs> wolverine um, scott and gene this was okay <laughs> yes robert kirkman, kirkman is hit a home run with firepower goodness. if you're not on it you need to get on it 100 percent awesome book um you know just give it one chance you need to be yeah and buy, if you buy the prequel like it, then Buy the, buy the prequel and just read the prequel and you'll want the rest yeah. of the books. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And, and, and honestly, you probably need the um you do need to get the prelude. Yeah. Um the prelude sets up everything and it makes more sense why he's doing what he's doing right now. It helps a lot. Get the prequel, get the prelude. Beautiful book. Mm -hmm. And and Samney's art, he did he did the art on uh Daredevil with Wade. Um, and it was just good stuff. I mean, it's not my favorite art, but it's good. All right. Yeah. This excellent book. Yes, that was Recommend. very good. This was good. That was good. Yeah. Recommend. This was good. It was yeah. Recommend. Wonderful concept. Can't wait to see more. This was solid. It could have been yes. good, except the art let him down. I think the art let you down. I thought it was good. It was better than you you're putting. It. This is okay. Confusing. <laughs> um, this is good. Good. Definite recommend. Yeah. I'm picking it up and my pull list. Devil's Highway. Good, really good. good. Almost excellent. I enjoyed it. A lot. I put it really close to excellent. Um, because I just like it. I just like. Mm -hmm. it. I, you know, I, I'm going to move it to excellent. Mm -hmm. And this was good. It moved a from solid better. to good. It brought the rest of the series up. And brought like the rest that. of the series up. It's starting to chunk along now. Um, I don't like that you have to have all the other things to really kind of understand what's going on, but I do like that they reference what happened and why you're missing it. So you know where to go look for it if you really want to. <laughs> Unlike Storm is sick since when? When did Storm get sick? <laughs> I've been reading all of it and I don't know where Storm got sick and all of a sudden she's got to go to the world. Come on, Hickman, come on. All right. All right, so that, that is our review for this week, our quick fire review. We did make yeah. it under an hour. Yeah, all, all right. of those books. Now it's two weeks worth of books. We just kind of covered it real quick. We're definitely some good stuff. Some other stuff was mm, got dropped off my pull This list. week was a lot better than last week. This week was a lot better than last week. So we loved it. It was good. Definitely pick up Firepower. Definitely yes. be reading Deceased Dead Planet. Yes. That does Batman. remind me, I did have one more uh, Deceased Hope at World's End. On comicsology, that was to me good. That was a good story, and it kind of references what's going on what in this book. Um, why they're going to that other garden, ah. uh, and you see kind of the stuff that's happening at that other garden. You don't see the oh snap moment, that's still a surprise. <laughs> um, so definite good week, mm -hmm. and we'll be looking forward to next week. Make sure to join us uh, Sunday, Sunday tomorrow. tomorrow for Ooh. Judging a Book by His Cover. And we'll see you then next time here in the, in long, the long Box. box. Have a good weekend. Good night, y'all.